Okay, sorry, Kara, go for it. No worries. I um, just want to confirm, like everyone can see the captions, right? Okay. Sorry. Um, so welcome, glad you're here. Uh, we're starting with the ASL portion of the language exchange. And so um, wanted to start with the land acknowledgement. And it goes, we acknowledge that the Clackamas Community College campuses reside on the traditional homelands of the Clackamas Cascades and Tumwater Bands of Chinooks, as well as the Tualatin and Pudding River Bands of Kalapulia and the Northern Malala people. They lived and prospered by maintaining strong cultural ties to the land and through wise management of resources. As signers of the Willamette Valley Treaty of 1855, they were removed from their homelands to the Grand Ronde Indian Reservation, where they became members of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde. Please join us in taking this opportunity to thank and honor the original caretakers of this land, their lives, and the descendants that live on as tribal, tribal members today, still carrying on the traditions and cultures of their ancestors. Okay, so a little bit about me. Um, the major that I chose is American Sign Language Studies, and I chose um, ASL based on my faith. Um, as a follower of Jesus, I believe that um, he put that desire in me in my heart to learn ASL and to work with the deaf community in some way. And so a brief history of ASL. Um, Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet and Laurent Clark were pioneers for bringing ASL into the United States. Um, Gallida met Clark when he was studying abroad, trying to um, learn the methods that were already in place for the deaf community. Um, when they came back to the US, uh, they worked together to open the first free American school for the deaf. And they mix of indigenous sign language like gesturing and French sign language created American sign language. So we're going to start with the alphabet. Um, if you want to turn on your cameras for this, um, I would appreciate that. You don't have to, but it helps me to see you and um, make sure like I'm helping you in the best way I can going through this. So uh, A is like this. Perfect. Oh, and also if you fall behind or you have questions, feel free to unmute and ask. And I can go back. I'd be happy to do that. It would be. Yeah. C. D. E. I just have a question. Sorry, are, are we supposed to be um, seeing you? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I can't see who. Here, let me. I think there's a way that I can spotlight you. Does that help? Wait, maybe. Sorry, I'm just. Are we just supposed to be copying like what's on the screen? Like, I, I think I said like A is like this. Yeah, and Kara is also doing the gestures on her video. Oh yeah, I can't see it here. Okay, just ignore. I mean, I think I, I think I know what to do. Sorry, guys. I can see Kara and Kara only now. Shalia, do you want me to start over? No, you, this is perfect. Thank you. Okay. So <laughs> E. Yeah. Um, <laughs> S. <laughs> I forgot the next letter. <laughs> G. It's like, like 
this finger is straight and your thumb goes up. Perfect. H. And I. J. Yeah. And then K. It's like your pointy finger is up, middle finger is sideways, and your thumb is resting on your middle finger. Yeah. Awesome. L. And M. It's like your three fingers are over your thumb, like the three when you're writing it. It's like three. And then N is two over your thumb. And O. And P is like K, but down. And then <clears throat> Q, it's like G, but down. Yeah. And R, and S, it's like A, but with your thumb in front, like a fist. Yeah. T. U, B, W, <laughs> X, Y, and Z. Perfect. Ready for numbers? <laughs> okay. One. So it'll be like one through five. Your palm is towards you. So one, two, three, then four. My palm in. And five. Can I ask you a quick question? Does it matter which hand you use? Like, do you just use oh, your dominant hand? Good question. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> um, so it's your dominant hand, like whichever hand you write with. Okay. So Why six. does it matter? Sorry. What's the difference between like non-dominant and dominant for this? Um, some signs like move, um, some parts are, um, one hand is stationary and the other moves, um, like spirit, for example, is like this. So it'd be like your non-dominant is stationary and your dominant hand is moving. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so six through 10, your palm is out. Be six. You double tap your finger. <laughs> so seven. That's tough because my finger wants to like curl. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask if are there literally hand exercises that people mm -hmm. learning ASL have to do to to make their hands more flexible? Probably. I think just a lot of practicing the signs helped. It was very stiff <laughs> and difficult the first few times. Um, yeah, I've always had an issue. Um, my, I'm right hand dominant, but I've never been able to grasp my pinky with my thumb on my right hand. I do, I literally, I, I've never been able to do it, but I can do it with my left. Like, Interesting. I have I have greater dexterity in my left hand, even though I'm right hand dominant. So thank you for whoever asked the question about the dominant 
And the easiest way for me to remember the numbers is when the smaller number, like six, is the small finger, like pinky. So six and then seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah, perfect. Ready to move on? I have one question. Yeah. How would you string um, a triple digit number together? Like uh, in the hundreds? Yeah. Um, don't really know how to describe it other than to show you. Um, so like 100 is 100, but if you're doing more like let's say 123 would be 123 because 23 in ASL is 23 so it'll be 123 okay that makes sense thank you yeah well, I hope that answers your question <laughs> okay so Phrases, if you're ready to do that, my favorite part. Um, so how are you in ASL is how. It's like, like how you. And when you sign this, make sure like with the who, what, when, where questions, why questions, your eyebrows throw down. So it'd be a, how are you? And so you're, you lean forward, eyebrows down, head tilted a little bit, like make it, it's like how you form that question. Okay, how are you? Can you go through the hand motions a little slower, like every part of it? Yeah, it would be. How you, like you're pointing at the person. How are you? And the next one, what is your favorite color? So it'll be, um, so your, the palm is possessive, so be your, and then favorite, like your middle finger tapping your chin, favorite. And then color, it's like, and then what? And then make sure your furrow eyebrows and lean forward. Your favorite color. And then good morning. Good is the non-dominant hand. It's like palm up. And the dominant hand starts at your chin into your palm. Be good. And then morning is non-dominant arm is. And then like you touch your hand to your elbow crease and your palm like forward and you go up morning. So be a good morning. Not good morning. Awesome. Then what is your name? So again, possessive, your name. It's like, and dominant hand is on top, moving down. Name, what? Your name, what? And then when you introduce yourself, you say, my name is, it would be my, Again, possessive, 
and then name, and then you fingerspell your name. So for example, my name, Kara. Looks like we still have a little bit of time if anyone wants to try introducing their name and fingerspelling it. Can we go back to the uh, yes. alphabet? Thank you. Does anyone want to volunteer? I, I could do it. Um, so Shalia, um, so S and, okay, so don't raise my hand. So S um, and then H is, is two E in L is, does it matter if it does it, could it be like this or does it have to have a slant? Uh, it should be up vertical. Okay, so it could be straight up. Okay, L, um, oh, I like I, I and then A. Oh. No, okay. your thumb to the side for A. Like this? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, thank you. Yeah. Does anyone else want to try it? I can go. All right, so my name. Um, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, D A N I E L A. A. <laughs> Good job, that was great. <laughs> it's like when you're like in the hot spot, you know. <laughs> awesome. Anyone else wanna try? Yes, there is a sign. So it's like, That's my favorite way to clap. <laughs> Can you repeat that? I don't see it. Make sure you look happy. That's fun. <laughs> I like it. It reminds me of like, I don't know if you guys watched Bring It On, that cheerleading movie. I think it's called like Spirit Fingers or whatever. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I loved doing that as a kid all the time. It can be. Um, some signs have different meanings or words, um, but it's not necessary. Any other questions? Comments? Signs you want to know? <laughs> um, how about responses to how are you? Right? I, like, mm -hmm. things like I'm good or. Yeah, like, one would be good. Or we learned that one, good. The bad is, it's like good, but your hand orients down into your palm. So being bad, like um, top of your hand is up, so bad. Um, fine, it's like this, like fine. Um, awesome. <laughs> Uh, what else? Oh, tired is like tired. So be like down, tired. Excited is like, so it's like with your middle fingers. Yeah. 
anxious. <laughs> Um, there's two years, so it would be, it's 101 through 203. I don't know how many classes that is. <laughs> oh, five classes. Thank you, Teresa. I'm not sure if you know the answer to the question, but do you know why, how, or what is at the end versus in the beginning when it's spoken and then when it's signed is at the end? No, Teresa, do you know? It depends on the context. Shalia, you raised your hand. Yes. So um, I was just wondering, I remember you saying like you frown for something. What about like to show emotion, like um, if you want emphasis on something? Um, are you thinking? Like, if I'm would I just frown at you? Or how? Yeah. Okay. Basically, like expressions are like tone for voice. Um, like if you're mad, like you'll like show it, or like big facial expressions are important. Um, I think I was gonna say I think that's part of the reason um, why the questions end in the how or what is to show that question um, but it's also just part of the grammar for ASL okay so is there like a sign for like an exclamation mark uh no that's just facial expression okay cool all right thank you yeah any other last questions before we move on to Russian is there a sign for thank you? Yes. The resources. Thank you. It's like good, but without the hand under. Yay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm going to teach some Russian. It is definitely going to be a lot of fun. So, is this visible? Yeah. Thank you. So, I'm, I'm going to start off with a little bit about me. Uh, my family immigrated to America from Kyrgyzstan, which is a small country next to China. So I'm not actually from Russia. However, Russian is my first language as it was before. It used to be one of the main languages spoken in Kyrgyzstan. And I am a first generation American, but it's still my first language. And I've done my best to actually preserve my culture and this language since I actually only speak Russian at home and family, and even with like friends and family. Uh, I'm a, this is the Russian alphabet, it's Cyrillic. And I'm going to go through and pronounce every letter. I would appreciate if you joined me in pronouncing. If you need me to slow down or to repeat a letter, please let me know. The first letter is A. Uh. Uh -huh. B. Ba. 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 
Let's do that one again. It's a, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> What's the difference between those two? So it kind of like goes up at the end. It's like e. 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 Good enough. L. L. M. M. N. N. O. O. P. R. 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 T. C. T. T. U. U. P. 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 C. 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 She, 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 she. And this next letter is actually silent, but it's a hard letter. It, so when we put it at the end of a word or in the middle of a word, it creates like a hard sound. It's called a fjordiznak, which just means hard letter. U. Uh, next one is the soft letter, it creates a soft so sound. E. Eh. Yeah. You. You. Yeah. 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 Which is actually funny. Yeah is the English, like, same thing as I. <laughs> I mean, next on, we're on to Russian numbers. So starting from zero up to 10, the right side in the blue is the pronunciation. So zero is nol. 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 Adin. Two, two, three, 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 four, 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 Yes. 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 Awesome. You guys sound great. Does <laughs> anyone need me to repeat any or go through them again? Maybe four. Oh. All right. Chet Iri. Chet Iri. Chet Iri. Chet Iri. Awesome. So some of these phrases, I think they're pretty important to know. Um, I'll explain some have formal and inform informal versions. I did choose the easier version. Starting with good morning and good night. So this is the, how it's written in Russian. And this is how it's pronounced in like the English translation. Um, Dobre utra is good morning. Dobre utra. Dobre utra. <laughs> Dobre, Dobre awesome. Uh, next one is good night. It's spokwene. 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 Noche. 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 Awesome. Can you do that one again? Yes, of course. Which one? Good night or good morning? Or both? Both. <laughs> All right. So starting with good morning. Dobre. 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 Utra. Utra. Dobre utra. Dobre utra. All right. And good night. Spokoine. Spokoine. Noche. Noche. Spokoine noche. Spokoine noche. Awesome. Love this. Do I need to go through them again? Or how do you guys feel? Good. Good. All right. Um, how are you? Is Kakdila. 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 
Hack dealer. Hack dealer. Nice. This is an informal version, um, but it works. Everybody knows it. And it's honestly the preferred version. Um, what is your name? My name is. So, what is your name? Is Kak Tibia Zavut. So, Kak. Kak. Tibia. Tibia. Zavut. Zavut. Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? Nice. And меня. Меня. Зовут. Зовут. Даша. Бро. Меня зовут. Меня зовут. Does anyone want to say the whole thing? I can ask can somebody. Their name? Yeah, of course. So, what is your name? Is Kak Tibia Zavut? Kara, uh, were you the one asking for, for me to repeat it? Yes, but I didn't want to repeat it by myself because everyone <laughs> else was quiet. <laughs> okay, I'll repeat it with you. Okay. All right. Kak. Tibia Zavut. Kak. Tibia Zavut. Okay. And Minya Zavut. Minya Zavut. And insert your name. Bo. Minya Zavut. Daniela. Minya Zavut. Is anyone willing to say it all by themselves? Sure. Yeah, I guess. All right. And Wally? Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Андуали. Awesome. Great job. <laughs> Anyone else? No pressure. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. <laughs> All right, Kara. Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут? Minya Zabut Kara. Nice. Great job. <laughs> this is awesome. You guys can converse a little bit in Russian now. <laughs> Anyone else or should I move on? Based on the silence, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> and Thank you is spasiba. Yep. And that's actually all from me. Does anyone have any questions? Can I ask a favor? Yes. Great, Kara. I'm oh, sorry. Teresa said the gift was cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had to go run and turn off the oven, so I missed what whatever the slide was right before good morning and good night. If there was one besides the numbers. That's that was just this. Ah, okay. Yeah. That was just an overview of all the Yeah. Um for me it was interesting hearing the alphabet, because some sound like Portuguese and some English. I got very excited. The first ones are Portuguese and then start English. And I know when I took French, like, oh, that's going to hurt my brain. It's too many <laughs> to remember I to make phrases, but it was, it was interesting to hear the first pronunciation of the letter sound like Portuguese. So. Mm -hmm. I definitely personally feel like the alphabet is the hardest for me. <laughs> is that the only alphabet? Or do you have other dialects or variations? That's the only alphabet, but there are definitely like different dialects. And they actually really vary. Like I've actually met some people from different parts of Russia. And at some point I couldn't even actually understand them because of how seriously it varied. Hmm. On the other side of things, uh, like knowing Russian allows me to actually understand like um, Belarus, Belaruski and Ukrainian. I'm sorry I switched to a Russian accent there <laughs> because of just how similar they are.
And you said you only speak this at home? Yes, I only speak Russian at home. It's actually a rule. We're not allowed to speak. I wasn't allowed to speak English at home. Hmm. My parents. So, hmm? Yeah, John. Many years ago, before any of you were born, when I went to Russia, which was, I think, my first foreign country, um, I was taught a few phrases which have stuck with me, but I don't know if I've ever had the pronunciation right on saying hello. So I've said Zdrasvitye, but I don't know if that's correct. Zdrasvitye. Zdrasvitye, okay. So that's cool. the formal version. You can also just use Privyet. Privyet? Privyet. Yeah. Both work. Although Zdrasvitye is usually used when you're addressing somebody who is like a stranger or somebody who is older than you, like an elder. And Privyet is just kind of like you're in a good company of people like you know. Is there any other words, John, you're not sure about pronunciation? Well, there's, a, there's a very, <laughs> I only remembered like eight things, one of them, which was Gidye Toilette. Gidye Toilette. Which is, where where's is the, the bathroom? Toilet? Yeah. yeah where... <laughs> <laughs> that's an important one to very know. Very important to know. <laughs> that is, yes. That's, that's what they teach a bunch of 16 year olds who are going on a trip to Russia. <laughs> Should have included that one. It's definitely an important phrase to know. Dasha, do you know if there are, well, I don't even know, Do is there an instructor that teaches Russian at Clackamas? I don't think there's Russian at Clackamas. But I do know that Portland State has an amazing Russian program. Okay. Yeah, you were talking about the relationship with other languages, and so, um, so I was in a fraternity in college, and so I had to learn the Greek alphabet, and some of the letters in Russian look similar to Greek and are pronounced kind of in a similar way. Yes. Um, all, I know, I not all of them, so it's interesting that they're, I wonder how the alphabet got similar between those countries, and then also I know about a lot of Eastern European countries, like, um, in the former Yugoslavia, they have the way you'd say good morning is is similar to the um, what is it? Dob How do you say it? Dobre. You start Dobre. the phrase good morning. Dobre. Dobre. So like in um, Slovenia, it's Dobre dan, and then in Macedonia, it's Dobre den. So it's the Dobre part. Or maybe that's good. Is that what that literally means? Can you repeat that? Does do, the first phrase, the first word in the phrase of good morning, maybe it's on the next slide, is that, um, does that literally mean good or does that literally mean morning? Or is it like good day? Um, dobre actually means kind. Huh. So the straight the like translation would be kind morning. Hmm. And spokojne uh, noci is peaceful night. Spokojne hmm. is peaceful. Oh, and John, uh, I, didn't, I just wanted to interject like your comments about uh, like how a lot of the letters are seem like similar to like the Greek alphabet. Yeah. And um, it's actually sort of interesting. I don't know if you know the story of Saint Cyril, um, but the Cyrillic alphabet was uh, named for Saint Cyril who uh, created it uh, in order to teach a lot of um, of like the Eastern European population, like literacy. I did not know that. I mean, I knew it was the Cyrillic alphabet, but I didn't realize the namesake. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is why Len comes through all of the programs. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, Len is not a student at CCC. No, he lives in always, California. He's always here. He's always here and contributing. <laughs> he's very important to me. Have you guys ever watched Mean Girls? That was really random. 
<laughs> oh, because it, it's because like there's a scene. I, 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 there's a scene in the movie, and one one of the characters is like um, telling like someone else, like he doesn't even go here, <laughs> like, and so that's like um, what was this? Len, sorry, like you don't even go here, but you're <laughs> very very welcome, and thank you for showing up. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I haven't actually seen the movie, but I've seen spinoffs. <laughs> so, Dasha, can I ask you a, a question? Yeah, of course. So, is is there um is there a Kyrgyz language as well? Yes, there is. It's called Kyrgyz, Kyrgyzki, and I actually do know some Kyrgyz, Kyrgyz, because my parents learned it uh, half-heartedly, to say the least. But most of my dad actually learned it because at one point he only had people who only spoke that language around him. And it's kind of transferred because sometimes my family will switch from Russian to Kyrgyzki, then to sometimes to even Ukrainian because they know these like little specks of words. Like mm -hmm. there means what in Kyrgyz. And isn't th isn't there a political element as well to um, speaking Russian for people from the former Soviet republics that for some people they, they really relate to Russian and the culture and the language and some people um, choose not to, <laughs> to to separate themselves is that a way to say it yeah I mean for example for people from Kyrgyzstan um, Russians got pretty much uh, pushed out of Kyrgyzstan, even though originally it was actually a mix of people, but they got a little bit pushed out and just really like just a lot of just hate towards them. So a lot of Russians in Kyrgyzstan have actually just kind of pushed away from their culture in a way to protect themselves and they've like speak fully Kyrgyz and like that's their culture and they've lost the Russian part of it out of fear. I'm sure there's also other elements, but I know that's like the one I'm most familiar with. I definitely can't say that my culture is like only Russian. It's just, it's a huge mix of things. It's extremely um, Central Asian, very a lot of like Kyrgyzstan elements, a lot of Turkish elements in it as well. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the screen share. If anyone has any other questions, please let me know. Um, Kyrgyz is a totally different language with, they're not similar at all. And I'm actually pretty sure that there's a slightly different, um, like the alphabet is similar. Are you still there, Dasha? Yeah. Um, okay. There's there's a few more questions in chat. Oh, okay. Um, how would one learn Russian? And do you know where these dialects come from geographically? Okay. Um, so first of all, Luciana, can you expand on that question? Which dialects do you mean exactly? And the question about how to learn Russian, uh, I recommend starting with like an app, like Duolingo, and reading a lot, watching a lot of shows. There's a lot of awesome like Russian kid shows that are just really simple. A lot of like Russian folklore as well, easy books. Um, 
My internet's a little shaky. I'm sorry, guys. All right, any more questions? I want to make sure have people have time to take a break before their next meeting. Um, if you do come across more questions, both Kara and Dasha work in the Multicultural Center, so you're definitely welcome to come talk with us more. And I will direct you to them because I don't know anything. Um, but you can visit them during student hours and uh, contact the MC ambassador's email address. We have one more day for International Week tomorrow. Daniela is going to be introducing us to Brazilian children's folklore and literature. Um, so especially if you have kiddos in the house, feel free to bring them for that one. And you can use the same Zoom link as you got to here today. All right. Thank you, Kara and Dasha. No, well, thank you. Thank you, Kara. <laughs> thank you, Dasha. Thank you, everybody. I'm really glad everybody joined us. It was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed.